All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, we are here at the Newport Railway Museum in Newport. So we're just going to have a walk through, look at all the trains, look at all the locomotives that they have here. Enjoy being surrounded by these massive pieces of machinery. Have a look through what other railway items they have. Have a look at the history and enjoy the day out. So yeah, let's get cracking. Roll the intro. <laughs> So walking into the museum, you will see a room full of pictures and history about the locomotives and the history of the Victorian railways. We even have some models of an A2 class, H class and an R class. And the H and R class are here at the museum, the H class being Heavy Harry. In one of the carriages here, we are celebrating 100 years of the K-Class. This was actually last year. We had the centenary 100 year anniversary of the K. And here we have some pictures, a diagram and a little model of a K. There's plenty to do and see here at the museum. Some of the locomotives have platforms where you can get up and step into the cab, have a look at the firebox, turn the valves, pull the levers, and pretend you work for the VR in the steam era. Alright, so now we are stepping into an old V-Line buffet car. 
I gotta tell you, this was a pretty cool experience. I wish we could have had these, or I wish I could have been around at the time that these were in use. I just think this looks so awesome and retro and it gives you such a really nice movie feel to it in a way where I couldn't imagine this being reality, but it was one day and I think that's just pretty cool. And I love this livery, the orange and gray, or I should say tangerine color. That is my favorite classic VR livery of all time. I think it's just a keeper and it stands out, especially the old V-Line logo. And here's another example of that with Y137. Now stepping into the Hitachi car, this was definitely a trip down memory lane. Although not for me, I think I remember the Komenge mainly, but I do remember the odd Hitachi here or there. And I think touching the door handle is what really triggered my brain to remember these things. But it was definitely a trip for memory lane, especially for my mum. She vividly remembers these trains. And what a time it was. No air conditioning. Stepping outside of the Hitachi, we have a Louvre van with the VR logo, the small logo at the top. And a couple of classic diesels, a low nose T-Class in the tangerine and gray livery, along with a same color F-Class. Right now, taking a dive into the world of steam, here is an A2 class in the Canadian red paint scheme. This A2 has the spoked wheels, unlike the one that's currently running that has box pock wheels. Here is a J class. This J is J559 and is also an oil burner. Right next to it is a C class. Now I need to learn a little bit more about these locomotives. We've also got a K, an N, and this is a pretty cool spot at the museum standing in between all of these locomotives. The N is also another locomotive you can step inside the cab and have a look around. Right now, here's something interesting. The Locomotive Restoration Group in Taralgin are restoring an N-Class, but not this type of N-Class. They're restoring one that doesn't exist anymore. So that will definitely be an interesting project nonetheless. And if you want to keep up to date, check out their Facebook at LIG, Locomotive Restoration Group. One of the main highlights of the museum is H220 Heavy Harry. This locomotive, when it was built, and I think it still is to this day, the heaviest and the biggest loco in the Southern Hemisphere and the biggest in Australia. This locomotive alone, standing next to anything else in the museum, makes anything feel small. This locomotive is ridiculously massive, and I just can't wrap how big the face of the locomotive is. That boiler size, it's ridiculous. I cannot wrap my head around it. It's insanely big and everyone who comes to the museum agrees. This is the showstopper. Now 
Now this art class is a bit of a special one, displayed at the Exhibition of Industrial Power at the Festival of Great Britain in Glasgow. And this is the commemorative number plate displayed on the locomotive. There's also an old signal box which has a bunch of the locomotive number plates around the room which some of them you might recognize. There's also a frame full of tickets. There's also an old railway map of the Victorian railways on the wall there as well. Leave a comment below if you recognize any of these numbers on the wall. I know I recognized a couple of them. And this is the second room with a bunch of the number plates plaqued on the wall. Definitely some great history in here. Looking at all the number plates like example D1, D2, D3. It's pretty cool to see all of them in a line together. And something that I recognized was this plate, the D3666. That is the one plint at Bayswater. Now this is pretty cool. This 303 CJ Latrobe, that is off the spirit of progress. It's a pretty cool piece of history to see here. Now that is pretty much the Railway Museum. Definitely come down and check it out. It's $10 a ticket and leave a donation if you can. And if you're a train enthusiast, you have to come down here. All right, we've just about finished up here at the Newport Railway Museum. It was a great day out, uh, great people to talk to and talk about the history of these locomotives. So if you really liked the video, leave it a like, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more train content, then please check out other videos on the channel. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself. See ya.